hello and welcome to this lecture so in this lecture we'll see how to just uh, make that payload run in the client computer and get complete connection to the kali machine and we'll just execute some of the commands so before doing that let me just open the firefox and let's see how powerful our payload is to bypass all of that antiviruses so let's open this let me just close this veil framework over here so the website that i'm going to use is virus total you can also use the next website which is very popular website no distribute but i personally like this virus total so i'll just choose the file and let's go over here and you can see we have this output and the source and over here instead of a source i want to go to the output and i want this compiled and the payload name is here payload.exe file so let's open that and let's test this file so first of all you have to upload that file and wait for some time because it is going to scan all of these antiviruses and you can see clearly we are just getting some of these antiviruses tracking okay so many of antiviruses are tracking us so it is not good payload that means you can see so many of antiviruses so this is not effective now because 36 out of 70 antiviruses like this Avast, Avira, these are the common antiviruses and they are just tracking us. You can see the Bit Defender is tracking us. So many websites are tracking us. So that means this is not the effective file or the payload that we are doing. So let's make something that is uh, more powerful than this and let's uh, try to bypass some of these antiviruses. So let's go over here. Our payload is listening obviously in this or basically our handler is listening on this uh, port. So we don't need to do anything over here. Instead we have to just use this well framework in order to make another payload so let me use again that is the 15 which is going to be if you just list all of this payload the 15 payload is your reverse cell or reverse https so i'll just use 15 and you can see clearly now we have this already the command that is right here so what i'm gonna do here is let's make some changes so first of all i'll just say um this method maybe I'll just go over here. You can just give this user prompt as true or something like that. You can see and you can also change this slip. So let's try for this slip. If I say slip, maybe uh, two seconds or something like this. So I'll just say show options and one more time. So it is only the options. And you can see now we have here two. So let's generate and let's see if this can just bypass our payload so now i'll just name this new payload and let's hit enter this is going to encode everything and it will now create that payload and you can see it is this new payload.exe let's open that firefox again let me say i want to go to or navigate this virus total let's choose the file over here so it is new payload and now let me just upload this first and let's see if now this uh, can just bypass or not so we haven't changed anything we have just made something like only change in here so you can see this doesn't work again so it is not working at all so you can see clearly we didn't get anything better than before so it was same as before it is also tracking by a vast and i think it is tracking more than before it is now 40 out of 67 that must be bad than before or more and now let's do something else. let's try to just uh, make some changes now let's see just make changes by let's let's set these processors i'll just say let's set these processors b2 now and uh, let's set this sleep let's say set this sleep maybe one 
let's uh, generate now one more time let's hit enter and now uh, I'll just say this is extended payload and again it will just do some of his tasks the encoding tasks and now let's go back to our Firefox and uh, let's go back so okay it is already uploading so I'll just open the virus total over here and now let me just choose the file it is extended payload and let's upload this file and let's see if this can bypass some of the antiviruses or not okay it has been tracked one more time okay it is the same as before so many applications is tracking our payload that means it is not better than before it is same as before so we just tried some of the ways to modify but it hasn't worked yet so let's see what the options we can just do over here so there is not more option over here you can see we'll just say that minimum processes that they can run or the ram check or the maybe we'll just set the username that is completely optional that doesn't do anything maybe so same as before you have to try everything over here in order to make that payload undetectable by any antiviruses use 15 same as before let's set now let me just go maybe to the processors i don't want so much processor i'll just set one and let's say if i want to set maybe sleep to let me say it let's see if this works or not so let's check options one more time and it is completely fine i'll just say i want to generate and i'll just say now this is payload revision something like this so let's see if this works or not so let's go back one more time to the virus total and i'm just going to navigate over here and let's upload that file it's usual and this time it is payload revision let's upload this file first and uh, maybe this is going to work it is going to upload and let's wait for some time yeah, maybe this file is bigger than before or let's see if this works or not so we are waiting it is again detectable Okay, we are just waiting. Okay, clearly it is also quite failure because out of 20, the 14 has detected. And again, this McAfee and the Casper Sky and everything has detected so you can clearly see this is also not the proper so we just manage to put it under maybe the 40 or it will just touch the 40 so there has been quite improvement but we want that is no backdoors or basically no antivirus catch our backdoor but in this case again was getting the result that is 39 caught out of 65 that is also the average payload it is not going to work in all of this machine that means it is also a complete failure so you have to just do this couple of time in order to check or basically in order to see which will work for you so let's say sleep maybe six and let's see i want to generate and the payload will be final so i'm just doing this one last time final maybe reverse 
So let's see it enter. Now it is again that is final reverse. Let's go back. Let's check one more time. Hope this will work because it is just a random. I am just assuming something that is completely out of logical. We are just trying random value over there. We don't have any patterns to just denote that this will won't be tracked by antiviruses because we don't have any access to the antiviruses database or the signatures. So we can just put random value and just try our luck. So it is it was reverse. So it was final reverse. So let's see if this works. So let's press OK. So it is uploading. Let's see how this works. It is also maybe not a good way because out of six or out of maybe 15, 16, 9 has been captured. So it was also a failure. So we didn't get any idea or any pattern till now how to just get bypass to all of these antiviruses. So let's go back and now instead of going for this here with this uh, HTTPS but I want to show you a way to create your payload from here but you can see that we have this bunch of payload you can now try for this python meter reverse HTTPS instead of go so you can just use this and you can also try so let's use that now so I'll just say that First of all, I want to list and the Python reverse HTTPS is in 27. So I'll just use that 27. And you can see you have to set again the YAL host. And in my case, it is the IP address of Kali. Let me set YAL port, which will be 8080. And now there is so much of advanced options over here. So I'll just use this set processes maybe. And I'll just say one. And after that, I'll just set sleep a random value maybe four. After that, I'll just set options again. And it has set what we have just written over here. Let's generate this payload now and uh, let's say python reverse so let's hit enter and now it is showing that what you want to use so if you just hit enter it is going to be py installer or if you just press 2 it is going to be py 2 exe it doesn't really matter because this both is going to convert your files python file into the exe file so i'll just stick with this py installer and it is going to do its work here you can see the payload is building now the payload is the build payload over here and you can see the executable on the same file which is the compiled file let's go over here and let's check if this works or not let's try this one more time so I'm just choosing file as usual and now it is Python reverse so let's hope that this work let's press ok let's wait for some time it will just do its tasks and Python is basically what we just see in the next upcoming lecture we'll learn about the Python how to make this complete reverse shell with the help of Python so instead of making use of this whale framework we are going to use our backdoor from the Python that we learn in the next lecture so we'll just make our own payload and in this case you can see so much of antivirus has, has detected but our payload 
or our backdoor won't be detected by any of the antiviruses. So we'll just make that strong payload or the backdoor that won't be tracked by any of the antiviruses that will be run in any of the operating system, either that can be Linux or the Mac OS X or Windows because you know the Python is cross-platform only the command that we run on the machine will be python or basically they will be specific to operating system so instead of using those command that is specific to any operating system we are going to use the command that is particularly based on the python because python works on the linux and it also work on the windows and the mac os x that means we'll use the command of only python that will make our backdoor much more available or basically it will can be used to attack all of these operating system instead of making just based on the particular or specific operating system will make a complete reverse shell that will be cross platform that means it will be available it will be just working on any of the operating system that is available so this will be wrap for this lecture so you can clearly see even making this payload with the python did not work for us we changed some of these uh, options over here so it didn't work again so this will be wrap for this lecture we'll just try something else in the next lecture and see you in the, on the next one